We've had a task to try to identify a suitable rain gauge to be used with the Diacon weather stations. We've manufactured some of our own sensors, but the rain gauge we've elected to purchase from another manufacturer. We've looked at uh, several rain gauges across the price spectrum and found one that we think fits the best or gives the best value for the money. The first rain gauge that we evaluated for use with the Diacon weather stations was this nice metal powder coated one. It has a, about a six inch opening on the top funnel and uh, also includes two debris screens, leaf screens. This one, a coarser one on top and then a finer one on the bottom. It uses a uh, standard funnel, nothing special about that. I will disassemble it and show you what's on the inside. Disassembling this rain gauge requires that each of the three screws be completely removed, which may be a bit of a task to keep track of in the field. Uh, when we pull off the funnel, you see it's just a, a standard funnel, nice powder-coated aluminum. Um, very seems to be very good construction initially. The tipping bucket is very small. This is a, and the adjustment screws are easily accessible here. Uh, a bullseye level is uh, attached to the base for convenience in uh, setting up the rain gauge and it has good pivots. Easily accessible terminal block, terminal strip to attach your wires. Uses a single reed switch and magnet and an injection molded bucket. This is a fairly well constructed rain gauge. The problem we've had with it is that it's full of holes. So as shipped from the manufacturer, all of those openings are accessible for uh, bugs. And uh, we've had several instances where the rain gauge has been tipping far more rapidly than precipitation rate suggested. And we've had insects that have uh, set up house inside of the uh, tipping bucket volume and uh, didn't like the water falling down on them, and so began running back and forth. The other issue we've had with this rain gauge is the funnel accumulates with dust. This uh, plastic material um, had to be cleaned out a number of times when the rain had accumulated and filled the funnel and the probe had to be inserted to get uh, to loosen and dislodge the debris. We looked at a number of low cost rain gauges trying to find something that would seem suitable for a weather bug um, agricultural use where precision may not be as critical as uh, just a general general measurements of the precipitation rate. One of them was this uh, design, very very well thought out design but very tiny orifice on top so your accuracy is reduced because you're not collecting as large an area as rain. It also doesn't really have a debris screen, it's got some sl slots in the bottom. We thought that uh, might work, so we gave it a spin. The really unique characteristic of this rain gauge is instead of using a, a tipping bucket, it essentially uses a spoon configuration. And it's a novel approach that we decided to give a try, so we bought a couple of these. This uses a, a magnet to uh, hold a weighted spoon in place, and as the uh, water fills up and adds weight to the spoon, it drops and snaps back. So it's a uh, fairly rapid process when when the water fills up. Circuit board here can form coated with two different reed switches, one uh, normally closed and one normally open, so it gives some flexibility in uh, connecting your instrumentation. The problem we've had uh, with this one, this comes in a number of configurations. We bought two of them. This has a much larger orifice, uh, similar in size, six inches to the higher end rain gauge. Issue we have with this is the same we have with the smaller one. The single spoon is very prone to um, being overwhelmed uh, by the flood of water during high precipitation rates. So the, imagine the water dripping into the spoon, and as it's as it's tipping, it's still dripping in, and that tends to hold the spoon down longer with the higher precipitation rates, losing even more of the measurement accuracy. So we've, uh, this one comes in a number of configurations. You might see some of these uh, similar size rain gauges in, in other products. We've elected to uh, not use this rain gauge just because the uh, variation in accuracy over precipitation rates. Our search for a high value rain gauge led us to this instrument from Hydrological Services. This is manufactured in Australia. You can see immediately that the size of the opening on this rain gauge is much larger 
than this one. Here we have uh, just almost eight inches or um, 200 millimeters is the official diameter. One of the first things you'll notice about this rain gauge is the screws to pull the top off are slotted. So once you undo the screws or loosen the screws with the hex key, you can then remove the top. You can see the keyhole slots here. This minimizes any loose parts you might have on site in the field to try to keep track of all your servicing the unit. The larger orifice gives us a much larger volume in the tipping bucket. This is a beautifully chrome plated tipping bucket which minimizes the, uh, the um, debris and dust which will accumulate and adhere to the sides. We have a, a potted reed switch compartment. So rather than just a conformal coated, we have two reed switches in there. So that allows for redundant equipment. The nice thing about uh, this device is it's all sealed on the bottom. We do have a, a, a screen opening for venting here with uh, very small, small openings. We also have a ported discharge which allows you to connect a hose to the bottom of each of these, collect the rainfall in a basin, and then evaluate that further uh, to double check the uh, count accuracy. A bullseye level is included on the base and just even though this is a plastic construction versus powder coated, we have a very thick wall construction of uh, UV stabilized material. These have been in the field for nearly a decade and have performed very well. The bearings use a uh, stainless steel rest and adequate, um, and there's, there's no binding and uh, tight tolerances that would um, be encumbered by any dust and debris. We have two variations of this rain gauge on our website. Uh, they differ. All of the construction you can see here is identical. The uh, finger screen is a unique method to provide um, very good debris and leaf protection. The way they differ is in the discharge of the funnel. So I'll pop these out. It just presses out. This is a beautifully machined device and uh, injection molded screen. Um, this discharge uses a siphon action. So what happens is the water fills up, begins to fill up this well, reaches a point, and then it discharges the water out of the well. The advantage this has is you get a much more controlled flow of water into the tipping bucket. So very high precipitation rates achieve very consistent, accurate results with this configuration. The other version we carry is a standard funnel and discharge. This is nothing more than a, just essentially just a straight little tube. Unlike this version which has a, a tapered tip, this has a constant diameter th through the length of the funnel. This prevents dust from becoming impacted in the funnel like we had with this one. Uh, the advantage of this version is that it's very accurate in areas where you get very minimal precipitation or have medium to low precipitation rates. Both very excellent products. Uh, venting on the side to prevent um, wind effects and uh, very well enclosed, nicely made. For the, even though the cost is, I mean, the cost of this is very low and there are very many uh, low end cheap rain gauges. Um, you can see that even when you get up into the several hundred dollars that uh, you're not always guaranteed a high quality instrument, one that can operate in the environment um, without frequent maintenance. This device gives us uh, excellent serviceability, very good performance, and options to handle different circumstances. If you're in areas where capturing high rate precipitations is critical, then we suggest the the um, dash zero four rain gauge, and if you are looking for accuracy in low precipitation areas, then the dash six rain gauge on our website. Mm -hmm.